Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Today let us discuss the second session on ratio and proportion. The first example, a sum of rupees 35,500 is divided among A, B and C such that 3 times the share of A is equal to 5 times the share of B is equal to 7 times the share of C. Find the share of B. Now, there is some money that is 35,500 which has to be divided among A, B and C. Now, how should the money be divided is 3 times the share of A should be equal to 5 times the share of B is equal to 7 times the share of C and we want what is B share. Now, there are two different ways of solving this particular problem. First of all, if we need to solve this problem, we need to find out in what ratio is the money divided among A, B and C. For that, the first method 3A equal to 5B implies A is to B is equal to 5 is to 3. We have 5 B is equal to 7 C which implies B is to C equal to 7 is to 5. Now, in the previous session we have learned how to find out A is to B is to C when we have A is to B and B is to C that is when the diagonal elements are equal or are the same. So, what is A is to B is to C? Reverse N method 5 into 7 35, 7 into 3 21, 3 into 5 15. So, the money should be divided in the ratio of 35 is to 21 is to 15. That is, if you divide the total money into 71 parts. 35, 21 and 15 totally 71 parts. In that A gets 35 parts, B gets 21 parts and C gets 15 parts. Now, total money is 35,500. So, total money should be divided into 71 parts. So, 71 parts is equal to 35,500 and we want the share of B. Now, B is going to get 21 parts. If 71 parts is 35,500, how much is 21 parts? Cross multiplying 21 into 35,500 by 71. 71 fives 355. So, this is 500. So, 21 into 500. It is 10,500, which would be the share of B. So, B is going to get 10,500 in a sum of 35,500. Now, this is one method to find the answer for this. Now, let us look into alternate method to solve this particular problem. Now, in the alternate method, we already know 3A is equal to 5B equal to 7C. In the previous method, we have found the ratio of ABC using a particular method where we found A is to B, then B is to C, then A is to B is to C. Instead of finding out A is to B and B is to C, how to directly find out what is A is to B is to C? Now, let us see. Now, directly if I want in what ratio is the money divided among A, B and C? How to find the ratio of A, B and C when we have 3A equal to 5B equal to 7C? Now, if you want A, that is the first term, close A, multiply the other two numbers here, 5 into 7, 35. Now, if you want B, close B, multiply the other two numbers, 3 into 7, 21. And if you want C, close C, multiply the other two numbers, 3 into 5, 15. So, you can clearly see we got the same ratio. 35 is to 21 is to 15. So, the money should be divided among A, B and C in the ratio of 35 is to 21 is to 15. So, the total money is divided into 71 parts which is 35,500 
and we want B share and B share is 21 parts is how much? So, 21 into 35,500 by 71 same calculations 21 into 500 it is 10,500. Now, this is how you can solve this type of problem. Now, let us take one more example of the same model and try to answer the question in this method so that we can answer it quickly. Now, let us look into the second problem of the same model. A sum of rupees 91,000 is divided among A, B and C such that 2 times the share of A is equal to 3 times the share of B is equal to 4 times the share of C. Find the share of C. Now, from the given information, we are given like this 2A equal to 3B equal to 4C. So, to tell the answer for this, as we discussed, we first of all need to find out how is the money divided among A, B and C that is in which ratio. So, for that, first of all, we need to find out the ratio of A, B and C. Now, to find A, as we told, close A, multiply the other two numbers, 3 into 4, 12. If you want B, close B, multiply the other two numbers, 2 into 4, 8. You want C, close C, multiply the other two numbers, 2 into 3, 6. So, 12 is to 8 is to 6. Ratio should always be expressed in lowest terms. So, in each and every term, we can divide 2. So, it is 6 is to 4 is to 3. That is A gets 6 parts, B gets 4 parts, C gets 3 parts. That means the total money should be divided into 13 parts. So, 13 parts will be equal to 91,000. Now, we want the share of C. Now, C is going to get 3 parts. So, 3 parts is how much? Cross multiplying 3 into 91,000 by 13. 13 7 is 91. So, 3 into 7 21. So, answer is rupees 21,000. So, the share of C would be 21,000 rupees. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Nadesh IT.